Hey there, how's it going everybody? I've been getting a number of questions lately on uh, basically saying, hey, how come you have not showed your sleep system? And I sat down and thought about it and I said, well, I don't know, why haven't I showed my sleep system? So what I'm going to do today is basically go through the things I carry when I'm hiking uh, for sleeping. So I'll go through my quilt, uh, what I wear, my pillow, stuff like that. Got it laid out here behind me, so let's walk through this real quick so you can see what I carry along. To start with, let's look at clothing, base layers, that kind of thing. Typically what I do is I get rid of all my damp hiking clothes and change into something dry. In this case, I've got a pair of dry darn tough socks. I like the darn tough socks. They're wool, they're warm, they do get wet, uh, they still keep you warm. I always keep a pair of dry ones for sleeping in and I try to keep those dry at all times. So, darn tough socks. We've got a, basically a cheesy base layer from Walmart. These are Russell Dry Power 360. I've got the top, which is a long sleeve, lightweight top. I'm going to stick that on. And I've got the bottoms, which are kind of like long underwear, except they're much lighter. And I find when I'm either in a sleeping bag or under my quilt, those work just great. So I change, and first thing I do is get my uh, mattress down. I use the Thermarest uh, mattress, the X-Therm. So here's, here's the mattress deflated. I'm not going to puff it up, but basically if I use the pump sack that came with it, it's got a little hole in the bottom that you stick on the valve, like so, and then you kind of puff it up, squeeze air into the thing. It takes like eight squeezes of this to fill that up instead of 20 or so puffs of breath. And this has a nice high R value and it keeps you insulated from the ground. I'll put all the weights of this stuff down below. I've got a Sea to Summit, the pillow, the Eros pillow. I did a video on this thing a while back. Hey, I'm blowing away. Anyway, pillow. I love the pillow. It wouldn't go without the pillow. So I'd say keep your pillow with it. Uh, on my head, I've got a Black Rock Gear beanie, down beanie. It weighs almost nothing. That keeps my head warm. I really like uh, that Black Rock Gear beanie. I'll put the website down below also. If it gets really cold, I wear one of these cheap kind of a uh, hood thing. It's basically a hood that it's got a little face thing. And this I can tuck down around my neck and pull either my sleeping bag or my quilt around that. So if it gets cold, like below say 38, I'll wear this. If not, I'll wear the down hat. We got that. It starts getting down 30 degrees. My quilt that I have, the light and equipment quilt, it's only rated for 30 degrees. At that point, I start increasing my base layer with uh, basically a puffy. This is a inexpensive Eddie Bauer puffy. I think it's down, down 650 or something. I paid 50 bucks for it, and uh, it's puffy. So between the puffy and the base layer um, and the quilt, of course, I'm super warm. So let's talk about the quilt. To keep things dry, I keep a quilt inside a turkey roasting bag. These things are like 2 feet by 18 inches. They come at the grocery store in a small box with a couple of them in there. They're made out of either nylon or polyester, some plastic material that's not like melty. 
and they're crinkly, they're tough as nails, and they're very, very waterproof. I've been using this one for like two years to keep my down stuff in, my sleeping stuff. I like it a lot. And this is the quilt. And this quilt was designed for hammock, so it's got these two clips on the bottom where you can hook a uh, your pad to it. I don't do that, I just use it on the ground right now. I do have a hammock, I'm learning how to hammock sleep. I'm not good at it yet, so for now, at least in the cold, I'm on the ground. I really like the Enlightened Equipment quilt. It's well made, it's warm, uh, I've been happy with it so far. And I think that's it. Um, well, bound jacket, hoodie if I need it during the summer, of course I don't carry that. Black rock beanie, some darn tough socks, uh, lightweight base layer, and my pad. There you go. That's what I sleep in, and I've been very happy with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, click the bell down below so you get notified for my additional hiking videos when I put them out. And have a great time on the trail. See you later.